Hi folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to activate your QuickBooks Online subscription. First thing you're gonna do is, once you log into QuickBooks Online, on the top right of the screen, you're gonna see a gear icon. You're gonna click on the gear icon on the top right. You're gonna have a menu open up, and then you're gonna click on Account and Settings under your company. Once you click on Account and Settings, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a tab that says Billing and Subscription. You're gonna click on that tab, and then in that tab, you're gonna see a couple of things. First, you're gonna see your company ID number. You will need this number in some cases for billing and support, so now you know how to get that company ID number. In your subscription up here, for example, it says, I'm using QuickBooks Essentials, and it's $40 a month. Of course, the price will vary depending on when you watch this video. I'm already, I'm, a, I'm currently in a, in a free trial. It says here, there's a free trial until this date. I can cancel my trial and basically that would cancel the subscription. I can click on upgrade plan or downgrade plan. Let's do an example. If I click on downgrade plan, I can choose any version of QuickBooks that's below essentials. For example, if I click on choose plan, this is now gonna change my version of QuickBooks to simple start. It's gonna tell me, hey, you're gonna lose all these things in the process. Are you, are you comfortable with that? I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue and now my plan has changed. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on change plan one more time. Click on get started. And now my plan has been changed. I'm gonna go back into the same screen, into a billing and subscriptions on the left hand side there. And now it says I am on QuickBooks Simple Start. If I click on upgrade my plan, I'm gonna click on upgrade my plan. And I'm gonna go all the way to the highest to advanced edition click on choose plan, and that's now going to upgrade my QuickBooks to the highest plan, of course, paying more money. I'm gonna click on confirm, and I'm currently on this highest version of QuickBooks. Now, now I'm gonna activate the account, enter my credit card and activate the account. Let me click on the gear menu one more time and go to account and settings, and I'm gonna go into billing and subscription. Then I'm gonna click on subscribe. So once I click on subscribe, it's gonna take me to the screen where I get to put my credit card information and subscribe to the active account. One little thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna click X for a second. Um, if you try to do a downgrade of your plan, so I'm gonna show you this real quick. I'm gonna click on downgrade plan and the system doesn't let you because it says you need to call support and this is a typical thing when you're dealing with QuickBooks Online Advanced, the highest version you can actually copy and paste a specific link in the browser that can allow you to downgrade the plan without having to call support specifically for it. So I'm gonna give you that URL, I'm gonna paste it in the description just in case you need to downgrade from advanced to whatever edition you want to use. So I entered this URL into uh, the browser and again, again, I'm gonna put that in the description just in case you need that. And then I wanna go back to essentials one more time, because that's the one that I actually want. Again, it's gonna tell me all the things that I'm gonna miss from downgrading from advanced into um, essentials in this case. And let's say I'm gonna agree with that, hit continue, and then move forward. So finally, the moment where we're gonna actually subscribe to the account, put my credit card in, I'm gonna click on subscribe, enter all my credit card information, and then click on subscribe. Once the subscription is done, it's gonna say subscribe and click on get started. Now, once you have an active subscription, you're gonna see here where it says payment method. It will tell you what credit card on file is gonna be charged, uh, be charging every month or every year, depending on, on how you set it up uh, into your account to pay for QuickBooks. Here's the company ID. So if anyone from support needs that number to identify your account, that's where you will find it. And you would see up here, that it says the word subscribe and it tells you exactly when your next credit card charge will be. The one thing I will add is if you originally used my link, a link that I give away many, many times in many videos to sign up for your account and I'm gonna put the link in the description as well just in case you wanna double check with the link that you used originally, you will notice that uh, there's a 50% discount for 12 months. So if you want to have access to that 50% discount, 
you must have used that link originally and you should see that 50% applied into your account. If you don't see the 50% uh, discount for 12 months applied to your account, it's probably because you made a change to the account or maybe let that 30 day trial lapse. Just email me, I'll put the email below and then I'll have somebody at Intuit that knows me, that knows my account, fix it and give you that 50% discount for 12 months the way it was intended to originally. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.